March is just around the corner and that means we are not too far from Samsung's next generation of mid-range Galaxy phones, the Galaxy A55 and A35. Here you will find everything about the price of your option, the Galaxy A55 has come out so far, Samsung has not come out with any teasers and official information about the A55, but we do have quite a bit to go on as far as rumors leaks and reports go for starters. We know how the phone will most likely look. Thanks to a several design renders that have surfaced online, we also have some idea of the plans Samsung has for the camera system on the Galaxy A55, the chipset that it will be powered by, and a few educated guesses to fill in the spots of unknown that remain for now. The speculations outweigh the number of leaks and rumors, but building an image of the 55 is already possible. Nonetheless, for now, the Galaxy A55 specs are shaping up to be somewhat unexciting. The clear changes are the size, chip it, and the display brightness. More upgrades might come around before the announcement, though. It is expected the Galaxy A55 to come with one small but visible change in its design. The Galaxy A55 has a bump pastel island for the power and volume buttons on the side, also called the key island, with the top and bottom ends of said island sloping down blending into the aluminum frame. This is a design which Samsung first tested on the Galaxy A15 and A25, which are even more budget-friendly. Besides the key island, the renders show us that Samsung has made the Galaxy A55 as boxy as the S24 series with flat sides and curved corners given. The A55 is larger size, it would probably feel similar to holding a Galaxy S24+. Plus. Protection-wise, there haven't been any leaks, but we expect Samsung to protect the 55S display with Gorilla Glass Victus upgrading from Gorilla Glass 5, and keeping the same IP67 dust and water resistance rating. Colors-wise, three options have been mentioned including Awesome Ice Blue, Awesome Lilac, and Awesome White. Maybe there might be some exclusive ones for orders through Samsung's website, but that's not for certain as far as the Galaxy A55 unboxing experience goes. We expect the same for the A55, the Galaxy A54 came with a pretty good looking display being a Samsung phone and all, but compared to the recent standards, is lacking a bit in some regards. With that in mind, we expect Samsung to bump the brightness levels from 1000 nits to at least 1615 nits. Of course it will also inherit what already made the 54S display great, like its 120Hz screen refresh rate for smooth animations and gaming as well as the support for HDR10+. Samsung's own standard for HDR content the display on the 55 might be a tiny bit larger compared to its predecessor going from 6.4 to 6.5. But given how large it already is, Samsung has yet to include ultrasonic fingerprint reader in one of its budget phones and more likely than not, this won't change with the Galaxy A55. That said, the optical fingerprint readers the company uses on its mid-range phones are still plenty fast and accurate, so this wouldn't be too big of a disappointment. Some rumors say that unfortunately, the Galaxy A55 will keep the 5 megapixel macro camera which we see on the A54 and needless to say this is a bit of a letdown as a telephoto camera would give the A55 an edge over its main competition the lack of a telephoto camera is not that surprising though however the rest of the camera system is also said to remain the same including the 50 megapixel main shooter and a 12 megapixel ultra wide. The Galaxy A55 models has included 6GB RAM, but there's a good chance this number will increase to 8GB making the phone more future-proof and capable of handling multiple process at a time. Of course there is still a lot we don't know about the 55, so there is ample space for surprise to come in and make it a better competitor in the mid-range phone segment. But for now, it seems the competition might end up overwhelming this year. What are your thoughts on the rumored upgrades to the Galaxy A55? 
Are there any features in particular that you're excited about or disappointed to see missing? Do let us know in the comment section. Hope you like and subscribe to this channel. I will see you in next one. Till then, bye.